Hello beautiful Scorpios! I welcome you on my YouTube channel. Thank you for stopping by. I hope you're in a good mood, safe and sound. This is your weekly love tarot reading July 19th until 25th of July 2021 Scorpios. Sit back, enjoy and have some fun. Let me start with a weekly challenge for you. What this might be uh, Queen of Pentacles, my oh my. So Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus could be your spouse, could be your partner, current or possible new one. Your career could be in this week also in your focus, which is not bad. I think this is guys something tangible. I think this is you having your money, keeping your money in your hands and doing you know with your money, you know, whatever you want to do with your money. Um, I think more money in generally speaking is coming to you. Capricorn Virgo Taurus uh, is person who could challenge you in a negative way, could be in a positive way, could be the best possible love partner. Capricorn Virgo Taurus because usually this is a person who is very down to earth, ambitious person who is, who have a plan with you, person who plan future with you. I think you will say yes. I think you will stick to this plan because you will like it, you will like this plan and this person obviously guys think a lot about you. You want security checked, they want security checked. So both of you guys you are longing for long term type of relationship. Okay, so guys this is beautiful. I have nothing against this you know challenge because this challenge will bring you a lot of good things, right? I think you're also very stable, you know what you want, but guys now let's talk about your past. Let me see how my cards are describing your past. Let me see, ouch, eight of swords and major of kind of the devil. Guys, this is anything but stable energy. So, this is you saying, I deserve the best, I need the best, so I will choose the best. All those, you know, silly people, you know, superficial people, people who are using you for money, people who are using you for sex. Guys, you know, this is you saying, no, big, big no. So you do not want to be a victim, and why should you be a victim? Um, some of you... Um, uh, as I described, but guys, there is ex of yours, a simple person who is far away, person who didn't give you a longevity, person who didn't give you stability, sneaky person, dishonest, you know, person or something of that kind. This person also is, is described as a very insecure person. Guys, you really don't need that uh, past is not an option not because I said so but those two tarot cards represent your past so eight of swords is saying no I ain't gonna back this person simply do not deserve me insecure person taking your money using you for money or using you for sex or both you will find security inside of you you will overcome in this week attachment maybe uh, to your ex so you know uh, you will face your shadow and I think you will run away almost I think you don't care anymore but there is addiction between you and this person at least to the some degree guys your ex is still addicted on you no doubt we will clarify both eight of swords and major kind of the devil why not guys you know i think we should do that right now so there is a person who is completely addicted on you a person who depends on you whether this is money or sex or simply communication with you person who will do anything just to get you back so what you should do six of cups i remember what happened you remember what happened but this person is psycho something 
this person will change the story and maybe even this person will accuse you like I'm guilty of nothing you are guilty but baby I don't think so and let me see clarification for the devil oh interesting six of wands and six of cups and six of wands is saying be proud remember what happened and stop communication guys this is not your uh, obligation you don't need to repeat again 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 explain again 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 guys you know what happened you know this person knows you know what happened and simply guys don't allow yourself to be to be caught in the whirlwind because this person guys is addicted uh, could be drug addict could be could be alcohol addict or simply person who is so bad and influence of this person is not making you feel good now let me see guys what is happening in the present moment two of wands anyway two people want you new communication you are moving in a fast way from your past you gain your stability back you gain your sanity back after this guys you know this is this is so bad this is so bad so bad so bad don't ever go back uh -huh. but this person will call you so this person is addicted this person is obsessed with you and accusing you right like you know why don't you come back or why don't you stay you are making plan you're changing your strategy about your whole life or simply making having your strategy about your love life you have enough of this guys you know disappointment seven of swords is a nasty card which talks about dishonesty this person is sneaky and they want to betray you they want to use you again baby you are wasting your time if you are still waiting for this person to change their nature if you still believe them they will change uh, the way how they are treating you you are wasting your time Scorpio you are just wasting your time Ace of Swords is telling the truth Ace of Swords is your mental clarity but this person is playing with your mind accusing you for something which simply do not exist accusing you for something which is not your mistake but it's their mistake because guys you know major of kind of the devil is simply playing with your mind devil is playing with your mind this person is trying furthermore to make you insecure like you are losing your mind ever never guys you know allow somebody especially to play with your mind so this person looks scary but basically this person have no power over you anymore but this person on some level this person want to gain power over you this person knows or this person can feel they are losing you my oh my complicated week but guys you will say your peace and i think you will change your mind and i think you will move Eris Lilsec, Capricorn Virgo Taurus, Libra Gemini, a lot of unanswered questions, a lot of, a lot of sparkles, falls also, because of Seven of Swords, which is very nasty card, you must protect yourself, you must protect yourself, guys, you know, this is not, you know, Devil is ever, never good card, Ten of Swords, now you see the truth the truth will set you free you can you can you can set your mind now after you saw the truth after you admit yourself you know okay this is my past okay i see it i accept it and i am ready to move but this person guys is completely addicted to you and this person is i don't know weird something is so weird with this person guys you know so weird like you want to get rid of them want to get rid of them but you can't i think some of you are attached to wrong person guys you know think a little bit about that put your comment if you feel guys at least one part of your reading to be resonated with you king of cups you must own your life guys this is you you must own your life another scorpio can fall in love with you cancer 
Pisces, Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus. If you ask me, Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus could be the one if you are single and this is you choosing them. Remember, this is your challenge, Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus. Uh, and this person, guys, is meant to be with you. If you're single, open your eyes and please, guys, don't allow this ex of yours to play with your mind again. Five of Pentacles is saying, if you lack of money, you will find a new job. Five of Pentacles is uh, not connected, tarot card, which is not connected, guys, you know, with love. Some of you are feeling miserable. I know you do miss your ex, but kind of it's unhealthy attachment. You have unhealthy attachment to this person and this person is still want to play with your mind. Scorpios, you must make some serious decisions. I can see progress in, in front of you, but if you're not ready for this change, there you go, reply to me guys, you saw how this card fell down just like that. Reply, reply to me. This person will call you five times a day, but Eight of Swords is saying, maybe you are afraid of this person. This person could be assertive, right? So guys, maybe this person want to blackmail you for something, guys. So, you know, um, maybe some of you need to ask for a help. So this person is weird, completely addicted to you guys. You see, reply, reply to me. So platonic feelings, you are not in love with this person anymore. And guys, another person, you are my soulmate. So this sentence, you are my soulmate, could come from this ex of yours saying, you belong to me. You are my soulmate. You know I love you, right? But guys, you do not want to pick up the phone. You simply do not want to do that anymore, right? And you are changing your life. You are changing your strategy. You are changing your plans. So, guys, you will be forced to end a relationship with this addictive, you know, person. This person who is obsessed with you. There is a Leo who won't talk to you. Libra Gemini, well, you don't understand this person at all. Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus, Scorpio, another Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces, person who is similar to you, and this could be good relationship. Now, let me see your future. Hermit and Hermit mode, judgment, and Nine of Cups. Nine of Cups is card of your happiness. This is your happiness. Okay, after this solitude, the hermit mode, after you spending some days, weeks, maybe even months, now guys, you are, you are finishing cocoon uh, period, silence, silence moment, little by little is behind your back, you are leaving some bad stuff, bad people, a lot of problems, and you, uh, you are changing, right? You are changing. Finally, you will understand, you know, what this person means, if anything, in your life. So, uh, from this cocoon zone, you will become a butterfly and you will be now ready completely to accept this changed scenario, changed circumstances in your life. New opportunities are coming. You look to me very powerful. You understood what you want and what you do not want. Major Arcana judgment is big, Major Arcana. You are much more stronger now. You learned so many things and you are completely awakened to reality. Guys, there is a harsh truth which you must see, you must accept, talk about it, and then, guys, you can live. So, there is also confrontation with someone, but I think you will avoid in general to confront with this person. Nine of Cups, guys, is the most beautiful card in your reading, which is showing satisfaction with your life. You will like this, uh, this reflection in the mirror. You love yourself, guys, and I can see you happy. I see you in love. I see you in love. You see, guys, how this beautiful, beautiful woman Basically, she is, in, she is in love with 
love it means your circumstances are changing and you will feel you will see you will know you will find out who basically truthfully loves you the devil this is not guys you know the one it's somebody else so in this week guys you will find out who is this person and what this person have to offer to you it looks like after long long time you are entering into very peaceful harbor where you can find peace love and understanding comment like share and subscribe on my youtube channel so you are my soulmate you are my soulmate Capricorn Virgo Taurus, Eris Leosage, looks so down to earth, person with whom you can build your future starting from this week on. God bless you all. Bye.